guys. Good morning. This is Chen. Today, I want to um, I want to do a video of uh, how to propagate orchids. So, um, I got a few orchids out here. I have three of them. Um, they're not looking the best because um, see this one is uh, completely the flower. The blooms are all fell off. So those three orchids um, are the ones that I rescued from Walmart. Um, you know, Walmart had those orchids out and they were in full bloom, but because of lack of uh, caring, um, they eventually just uh, declined and they crashed and uh, just looked pretty sad. So I went ahead and I got those from Walmart and um, after I got them home, I immediately disassembled the, the pots. So they were in like the pots like in this, this is the original pots. And uh, they were very, very tightly wrapped in moss. So as you normally see the orchids sold at a store, the roots were just very tightly wrapped up. So I went ahead and I um, took off all those, took off all those tightly wrapped moss that were suffocating and were um, just wrapping the roots and uh, causing them to rot. So after I took them out, the roots are actually looking, looking okay. Um, some, some roots that were rotting like this one because it was uh, kind of just in really, really soggy water and uh, the moss for a long time, but there are still many roots are looking pretty good. And um, uh, since since I took them home and give them a rinse, um, I already can see some really good signs of um, uh, improving. So let me take this off and um, show you a little bit. So um, you can see some new growth and a new budding out of the roots like this one. This is, you can see some new buds coming off of the side that is looking pretty good. Um, they're definitely improving. So what I'm gonna do today basically is um, since there are a couple of uh, these orchids, they have already, you know, due to the lack of caring previously, the flowers all fell off. So this one completely, completely just a bare stick. So what I'm gonna do is um, I want to cut this flower stem and then to propagate, um, propagate in the, with the, with the um, steel knobs over here. So I want to propagate that and uh, give this mother plant um, some, you know, some relief from this um, bare flower stem. And at the same time, we can use the flower stem to propagate some babies. I never done that before. I'm still very new to orchids. So I've done a lot of research and homework about um, how to propagate the orchids. So today we're gonna give it a try, um, see how it goes. Um, the two orchids I will be working with today, I think will be these two. So this one still have few flowers hanging over here, but they aren't in great shape. You can see that they are just hanging there, but not really doing great. So I'm gonna cut this stem um, and then I'm gonna work with this one that is completely bare. So if I remember it correctly, this one has uh, the bright pink flower. Um, and the third one I have over here, I'm not gonna touch it. I don't necessarily wanna cut it today. The reason being is that this one still, I think is gonna have some new flowers that are coming out because because all these, you can see all these are already, you know, empty. These kind of um, pockets, these nodes are already empty. The flower already fell off, but there's a new bud right here. There's a new bud coming out just the last couple of days since I rescued it. So this is gonna keep coming out and it become a flower. Um, so I don't necessarily want to cut this one. I wanted to give it some time and until all the flowers that um, bloomed and come out and there's nothing onto the flower stem yet, then I will propagate this one. So I will leave this one alone for today. 
So with ORCHIDs, just some basic information that um, you know, people should know about orchids is uh, they are very, very special and their roots are not like our normal plant roots. Their roots are called area roots because they, in nature, that orchids can attach themselves um, to the tree trunk. So their roots are par partially exposed in the air. Um, they absorb moisture in the air um, and the nutrients to be able to breathe and grow. So instead of uh, completely burying the roots and uh, suffocating the roots in very, very soggy water or the soggy media, that's gonna rot them. So, so what we will do is after we propagating this one, we're gonna uh, repot this one with uh, a really aerial um, kind of a grow media in a pot and uh, give it room to um, breathe with oxygen and a breathe with uh, the space and uh, um, everything that is um, mimicking the natural habitat of uh, the orchids. So let's get started. For the preparation, there are a few things that uh, I recommend it to have it uh, ready ahead of time. So um, you're cutting shears and uh, rubbing alcohol. This is for sanitizing. So anything that you're gonna cut into the tissue, you want to wipe it clean with rubbing alcohol to sanitize so it doesn't carry bad bacteria and a pathogen as you cut. Um, a sharp pointing tip of the tweezer. So this is gonna help us to peel back the hidden nodes and the buds of the flower stem. So you want something that is sharp, either a pointy pair of the tweezer or a like a, a knife. And we'll be sanitizing this as well. Um, and then your cloning gel. This is a cloning paste that I use. You can use something that is similar in the market. Basically, this is for propagating and cloning. So cloning paste or cloning gel. Q-tips, actually. Just something that you can pick and uh, um, dab the cloning gel onto the notes that later we'll be using. Um, also, I use a couple of floral foams here. This is for later on after we cut the stems and we'll be inserting them into the floral foam. Then the last will be a container that you can host all the cut off the stems. So what I have over here, this, and with a lid. So later I will be putting the floral foam in here and cover it up with the lid. So maintain the moisture level really, really well. Um, you don't necessarily need um, such a big one. I think this is a little bit too big. Anything that it can be a closed up container uh, will work. You know, even like a large plastic bottle for the soda. Um, I, in a different episode, I will show you how to cut that into a um, propagation unit for orchids. So anything that can help to maintain and contain the moisture will be good. So somehow that uh, I lost my recording. So uh, anyways, uh, you want to sanitize your scissor and uh, um, find your nodes um, on the stems here. So you see that this um, orchid stem has several nodes on it. And at the base, we want to cut right above the last node. Um, then with this long stem, we have several nodes on tip that are already opened up. Those are the flowers that um, at a time already bloomed. So those are just the empty pockets of the nodes. Um, however, uh, at the lower bottom um, half of the stem, those are still some wrapped up nodes um, by a layer of the skin. So we gonna go ahead and trim off the tip part that with the spin flowers and the only keep the portion has the unopened and unfold nodes. Those are the um, sections that we'll be propagating um, and using our cloning gel to get it um, stimulated for um, new development. Next, uh, with this long stick have five nodes, we're gonna cut it in halves. So each section have two to three nodes um, and easier for us to propagate. Um, so we end up with those two sections of the um, stems with this red pink one. 
So with this、uh, white orchid, it's、uh, definitely a lot healthier, and you can tell the stem is thicker, the leaves are greener.、Um, so we're gonna cut also right above the last node of the stem. So it's right here above the roots. Just gonna cut forty-five degree angle right above that. Then we end up with this、um, stem with flowers and still hang on to it at the top part.、Um, so we also gonna cut off the top part with the flowers because those are already spent.、Um, we want to keep the ones that are still unfold and still wrapped up in the skin. So this middle section is、uh, what we gonna work with. Cut that flower off. So looks like there are also、uh, five, about five nodes on this one, and the more towards the bottom, they are more spread it out. So we just gonna cut that in the middle, end up with two、um, sections of the stems. So right now we have、uh, two of、uh, each kind of the stems. Total four. We have two of the the deep pink one. Um, and then we have two from the white,、uh, the white one. So next, we're gonna peel back the nodes. Use your、um, pointing tweezer. Don't forget to sanitize that with a rubbing alcohol.、Um, and then this is the tool that will be carefully used to peel back the skin that is covering the nodes on the stem. So when you look at this node section, that you see there's a layer of the skin that is covering. Um, covering the connecting part, so you want to carefully use the tip of the tweezer to tease the skin off and peel it back to expose the node inside. That is a tiny little bud. So you see that、um, this one I worked on the skin has been peeled back and I left it attached to the stem so you can see better. But inside is the little bud that we you know trying to、um, stimulate it to grow into a baby orchid plant. Same for the、uh, white orchid. We're working on the better stem right now. He has a Um, much more healthy、um, of a of a status, so the nodes are actually a little bit bigger too. So we carefully peel back the skin. You can see the little node, little bud hiding inside.、Um, so we're just gonna、um, carry it away and、uh, finish the rest of the nodes. Next, we gonna apply、um, and prepare for our propagation. So we use the floral foam, get it ready, get it soaked in the water,、um, and have them ready on the side.、Um, we use、um, the cloning gel to apply to the、um, exposed nodes. So after we applying that, we'll be sticking the、um, finished stem into the floral foam and keep it、um, upright. So you just use the Q-tips、um, and just scoop a little bit of the cloning gel, gently dab onto the exposed nodes like that. After you、uh, finished all of those, you can stick the stem into the wet floral foam, and make sure the last node you treated is not touching、um, the floral foam. Keep it upright, and、uh, the floral foam being wet and soaked in water also provides the continue to provides a water supply for the stem to prevent it completely dry out. So after all that, we finished with our four stems and two of、uh, one kind、uh, each on one brick. So、um, next important things is to label them because 
uh, you want to make sure that you record which uh, orchid this um, propagation is from and also the date of the propagation. That helps you tracking. Okay, so we put those two bricks um, and uh, um, in our in our unit, and uh, I made two signs for each one. Uh, one for the deep pink one that is uh, bought in Walmart. I name it zero zero one. The other one is the white one, also from Walmart. Name it zero zero two. After we used the flower stems, now we need to uh, repot the mother plant. Um, after the flower stems being cut off, um, those roots are still um, exposed and we want to repot it. When I got this at the store, um, the roots were very tightly wrapped in moss. So there were layers of the wet moss and just suffocating the roots so it can breathe. Um, I disassembled everything and uh, when we repot it, we're going to use the clay pebbles. Now, um, these clay pebbles, and they're very, very common um, used uh, in hydroponics. Um, normally, they replace, replace the soil and use it as a grow media. But there are so many different other usages. You can use the clay pebbles. They're made with organic clay. Um, so they do have a slightly higher pH. So before you use the clay pebbles, make sure that you rinse it under water, rinse it under warm water. So uh, rinse off a lot of the dust of the clay as well as uh, um, get that pH level a little bit neutralized. Regarding the pots, I decided to reuse the original pots that um, they came with. So uh, Walmart has these pots that inside is a plastic liner, uh, outside is a clay, just a uh, ceramic pots. So I actually added those burned holes onto the walls of the um, the liners because before it was uh, totally um, solid so I burned those holes on the um, on the pot so when the roots are potted inside they can breathe better so allowed more air exchange and more aeration into the root zone so you start with gathering the roots gently and uh, into guide the roots gently into this uh, um, pot inner pot um, and kind of support it in a neutral position that is uh, pretty centerized um, and it can basically stabilize it itself, but just needs a little bit of help of the support. Then grab a handful of the clay pebbles. We're just gonna really carefully drop those pebbles into the pot and as they um, fall between the roots and they will help to anchor the roots better in the pot. After this basically is all filled, you give it a gentle shake to help to um, gravitate some of those pebbles towards the bottom and let it naturally fall, um, will help to um, secure the plants even further. Last, we're just going to put it back into its ceramic pot it comes with because um, the pot itself is heavy enough to hold the base uh, with the liner um, of the orchid. So this mother plant has been repotted. Same thing with this uh, um, white orchid. Uh, I'm just gonna fast forward because same procedure. You guide the roots gently into the liner, then you centralize it at a good position, then start filling the pebbles in there. Um, this one is fairly easy because it's uh, um, pretty healthy. Um, you know, with the leaves and to the roots are to be much more easy to work with. Now, there are some roots kind of exposed um, outside of the pebbles. That's okay, because in the nature and the orchids, they anchor themselves on the tree trunks. So um, that is very, very natural to their roots to be exposed in the air. And uh, you want the air to um, have access to all the parts of the roots. That's why those side holes are um, important, because they allow the air to get to even the bottom part of the pot. 
So that's all we have for today. And last, I just want to say that、um, when you see those orchids at a store, they're not just for a one-time bloom. And、uh, don't I hope that you don't buy them home. And、uh, after the flowers are done with, you just throw them in the garbage because they can be rebloomed. And you just need to learn how to get them restarted, and then they will keep blooming for you. And、um, that's another thing is、uh, when you see those orchids, when you see those flowers at the stores.、Um, Um, help to rescue them because you can bring them back to life. But、um, today it was great to showing you how to propagate those orchids. Like I said, I'm new to new to them, but I did my research and I did a lot of、uh, learning. So I hope that you can benefit from this video. And if you like it, give us a thumb up. Then just、uh, keep following our、um, social media and、uh, YouTube channels.、Um, that's all for today. We'll see you next time.